This one will be a good learning experience for us all. The gentleman here that commented on one of my previous videos stated he had a doctorate in divinity and that I was wrong and that there's a covenant for the Gentiles. Well, I also have a doctorate in divinity, but guess what? It's a worthless piece of paper unless you actually study the Bible and know what it says. In times past, it would take you years to study the Bible in order to make certain connections. But we live in an age now where we are without excuse. We have all the knowledge in the world at our fingertips. And for those of you looking for better ways to deeply study the Bible, this video should help you. One of my favorite online resources for keyword searches in the Bible is Bible Gateway. It looks just like this, BibleGateway.com. Now what's great about this is you can pick whichever version of the Bible you want to search. Uh, we have the ESV, there's the Expanded Bible, 1599 Geneva, KJV, NASB, so on and so forth. Now one of my more preferred translations is the ESV, so let's start out in this. One thing you need to know real quick about a keyword search, if you put a word in that you want to search, or two words or three words, all three of those words that you put in have to show up in the Bible verse or else it won't pull it up. So if you type in KJV only, then the only verses that it'll pull up have to have the words KJV and only in it or else it won't show. So for the sake of this comment, let's find out if anywhere in the Bible it mentions a covenant with Gentiles. So we're in the ESV, and I typed in Gentile Covenant. Let's search. There are zero results. Now, let's get rid of the word Gentile and put Israel in there. And boom, search. 58 times a covenant with Israel is mentioned. Now, for my KJV only folks, let's switch over to the KJV so that you don't think you're getting gypped here. And we're going to search. Israel Covenant mentioned 45 times in the KJV. Now, if we search Gentile Covenant in the KJV, we actually do get one result. But if you look at it, it says the covenant that he's making will be a light for the Gentile people. It doesn't say he's making a covenant with the Gentile people. This verse is in Isaiah 42.6. To show my point, let's go to another resource, Bible Hub, which shows you all the different Bible translations of one single verse right next to each other so you can compare because a bunch of different manuscripts were used for these different Bible translations. There's Isaiah 42, 6, and all the different versions. And it says, a light for the Gentiles, a light for, to guide the nations, a light for nations. And it just goes on. Using this resource, you can look at about 30 different Bible translations simultaneously. And none of them tells you that God created a covenant with the Gentiles. You're either grafted into Israel's covenant, or you're not.